Hi everyone, this is Jurgat Lampier. It's been a while, so I'm checking in again. Um, today I will be talking about uh, hair extensions. Um, a lot of times I myself as a stylist personally get asked, what do I think about hair extensions? And I do have my own opinion that I sort of formed throughout the years. But I just felt that it's kind of unfair that I'm always speaking about extensions from the point of assumption. I'm just always assuming, I'm thinking what they should feel or from what I see on other people's hair, etc. So uh, this time, and this is so actually not me, but I am going to get extensions myself. And I'm going to get extensions for that reason that when our customers uh, ask, uh, what does it feel like? What does it do to your hair? How does it feel to wash them? How does it feel to brush them? How does it feel to sleep on them? That I can give you a very honest answer. What does it feel to have extensions in your hair? And... Uh, so this is my hair, probably the longest that it's been, and I purposely been growing it out because um, adding extensions is basically, uh, I just wanted that the difference between my natural hair and the extensions wouldn't be so drastic, and I will have to cut them anyway a little bit shorter because I'm not going for a bigger length or for the volume per se. I just really want to experience what does it feel to have extensions. Uh, at Lanfear, we offer three types of extensions, and um, uh, I chose the ones that I believe would be the right fit for me, again, from what I saw in other people's hair. Um, so there are three types of extensions, and we're going to try to show the picture somewhere right here, um, that there are um, uh, keratin tip uh, extensions. They are like, um, like a little keratin glue bonding on the top. That's, that gets bonded to the little section of your hair. And to me, they are sort of least noticeable um, in the hair. And because I do have fine hair, I don't want something that would show too much. So I chose the keratin extensions. Another type is the um, uh, eye tip. It's called eye tip. And for the eye tips, it's used like these, it's called like a beads. So there are metal beads that get matched to your natural hair. And um, the extension sort of gets slided in and pressed uh, with that metal bead. So you have these little metal beads against your scalp. I don't dislike them. I just like them on people who has thicker hair, not for somebody who has fine hair like me. So that's why I decided not to choose this method. And another method which uh, most of you are probably familiar with, it's called tape-in extensions. And tape-in extensions usually come, I would say like about maybe inch and a half wide. And they have like two tapes from both sides where it just gets placed under the section of your hair, glued, and that's how you have sort of uh, panels of little pieces of hair um, as an extension. And obviously for me, I feel like I have too fine of the hair to have those type of extensions, so that's why I didn't choose that method. Um, one sort of drawback, if I can say that, uh, for the keratin extensions, the ones that I chose, is that once you purchase the hair, which the hair is a lot to choose from, once you purchase the color and the hair that you want to get into your hair, um, and when the time will be to remove them and move them up when the hair grows, you can't reuse them anymore. You have to buy new hair. So it's a little bit, um, I would say, more costly. Uh, but uh, it's a luxury service. It's a luxury service. And for those of you who are considering to get extensions done, those are the things to ask. Those are the things to consider. And those are the things to think about. The eye tip extensions can be reused. So um, you do not have to repurchase the hair when the time comes to lift them up um, where your hair grew. And same thing for the tape-in extensions, they can be reused. Uh, I don't remember for how many times, but I know that they can be reused for a few times. 
So um, as far as the color go, you can be as creative as you want. And I, again, this is so against who I am as a person for those of you who know me, but I chose something a little bit funky. I chose three different colors. And um, um, so these three colors, they will be sort of darker at the root, but it will have blonder tips. And we just have this sort of uh, idea how we wanna intermix those colors and make something fun, something interesting. And I just thought to myself, if I don't like it, I always can glaze them over, color them over, and just have a different color that I want. So extensions are already ordered and um, they already arrived. They already been prepared and um, I will be getting them done uh, on Monday. So uh, before I get my extensions, one of the first things to take care of as well is I just got a haircut. Um, I trimmed my ends, so I literally just dusted them because the goal is not to lose the length. So I still wanted to keep them as long as possible, my natural hair. And uh, the next thing was to get the color done, which I got done also um, today. And the next step is to get extensions. So. Um, Right now, um, uh, I am all prepared. The trim is done. The color is done. Um, extensions are prepared. So Monday is the day when I will get the extensions in and I will let you know what my thoughts are. I'll be very honest to answer all your questions about extensions once they have them in. Thanks for watching. Um, I will check with you soon again.